What is going on people? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to a brand new video. We are off to, well I'm actually on my way to pick up the van now and then we are off to Lincolnshire, I think, uh, you know where Matt Armstrong's from, Mallory Performance, you know, the land of supercars now. Uh, basically, I am off to pick up a V10, a 5 litre V10. Yes, guys, you heard right. Now, whatever that is, comment below if you think you know before we even get into the video. Uh, if you're not subscribed, don't forget to like, subscribe and share. And uh, yeah, I will continue the video once I pick up the van and trailer and uh, start our journey to Lincolnshire or Lancaster. Stay tuned. I will continue the video when I get the van. Peace. Right guys, I have just got to my destination and I am exhausted, mate. It took me about hour, 40, hour, 50 minutes to get here. Um, I think I had a slow punch on one of my tires. Well, no, I did have a slow punch on one of my tires. As you can see, I've had to change the tire. So um, to add salt to the wound, 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 whatever, to add salt to it, um, it was a bit of um, a tricky journey here. The trailer I've got is a six by seven foot, which is uh, 16 foot long, seven foot wide, which is wider than the van and longer than the van. It's like a long wheel base van, uh, seven foot wide. It is massive. So I'm literally struggling taking that, uh, driving it around. Not only am I struggling driving around, when I get on the motorway, because on the little country roads, it's really wide. Get on the motorway and start getting up to speed. It starts snaking around and doing all this because I had one low tire. So, um, yeah, a bit scary coming here, guys. I've managed to change the tire. Let's get out and have a look at this V10 that I've just bought. 5 litre V10 German muscle beast. Let's have a look at it. Now, before we get to the vehicle, guys, I thought I would just show you this badass van has changed the tire as you can see but van and trailer let's have a look at that let's have a look at that trailer have a look at that van have a look at that trailer that trailer is long guys that is a long trailer i mean the width on this thing is uh oh yeah i need to put my plate on there so yeah good thing i came around here but yeah just to get a bit of idea just have a look at that crazy and uh to to make it even more sketchy i will be putting probably a three ton 2700 kilo car on it this is what i bought guys five liter v10 diesel vw2 rug they don't make them like this anymore um, seen it, had to have it, got it for a really, really good price. I mean, just look at the stunts on that. Look at them archers. I'm not sure exactly what kit that is because I've not seen any, but I do think it's an aftermarket. I think I've looked online. I think it's the ABT kit up to, you know, the guys that do all the Audi and stuff tuning. I think that's what, uh, the kit is, but I was looking more into it. I've not done any research on it. I've just made sure the vehicle. I've got this as spares and repairs, guys. I've got it at a really good price. Spares and repairs, running and driving, as said. But there are a lot of stuff needed to be done. It's pretty much an MOT failure. Uh, feel free to do your own research on the MOT with the uh, registration there. You can check what it's failed on. So there's a lot of work that needs to be done on this. But I had to have it. V10, 5 litre diesel. I think it's running about. 310 350 uh, bhp horsepower from standard not too sure exactly the figures um new meters uh i think is around 500 if i'm not mistaken we'll do a lot more research on it and we'll figure out the figures uh when we get back first of all i've got to get that beast on there and somehow that take us home so fingers crossed and wish me luck but yeah let's have a quick look uh, and let's quick walk around from really good condition tires definitely need addressing but don't worry about that we have got something lined up for this thing um nice tow pretty hopefully one day we'll be using this to do our towing but body work it's a hpi clear as far as i know it's beautiful man it just sits so angry you know, it just looks so good 
I love it. I absolutely love it. I love this shape. It just reminds me of like the Bugatti got his sort of the lights look like a Bugatti. I know it's not a Bugatti, guys, but yeah, you know, it's it's my beast. It's my beast. It's my V10. It's my my diesel supercar. Let's have a look inside. Um, as you can see, pretty clean. We've got a few things. Maybe the little trim should be somewhere in the car. I don't know. Uh, inside, that's what it looks like. A nice brushed aluminium. You've got the wood finish in there. Steering wheel doesn't look too bad. Mileage is only literally 119,300. 119,300. Not bad for a diesel. Not bad for a 5 litre diesel. Um, look at the seats. Really, really good. Really good. Got a bit of uh, change there. Radio key things to take the head unit out. Bunch of bits in there. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll have a look at other things in a minute. Look at these little things. You see these little things? They are crawling all over me and they are like bugging. Um, look at the wood finish. It's like no one's even sat in the back. Literally. Has anyone even sat in the back? Guys, it looks brand spanking new in here. Just have a look at that. Right, the moment we've all been waiting for. Let's see. Uh, keyless entry, keyless start, foot on the brake. And. Okay, turn the fans off. I've had it, I have had it running, guys. Um, while I've changing the tire to make sure it doesn't overheat and everything like that. I have had it running, guys, uh, while I was changing the tire to make sure it doesn't overheat. Uh, yeah. I'm looking forward to seeing what we do with this. Uh, I'm looking forward to doing what I've got planned for this, shall I say. Um, God damn, little things are crawling all over me. Look at this. The, the bite-in, look at that. Yeah, I have no idea what it is, man. They're killing me. Yeah, a lot more on this. Let's get loaded. We will do a continuous video when I get back because we have got about an hour, two hours, three hours. God knows how long it's going to take me to get back, but it does start, it does drive. I have tested it out. Let's see. Let's see how we get on when we get back. Wish me luck. Let's get it loaded first. And uh, yeah, we'll continue. We'll continue this walk around when we get back. First of all, I've got to get it loaded up so we can start making our way home. Wish me luck. Right, she's all loaded up. Anxiety levels through the roof. She's a beast. We are yet to see everything that is wrong with this. But... First things first, let's try and get her home. I can already see we've got a bit of a oil leak there. But yeah, let's try and get her. Oh, good thing I came only to tighten these things up. Cool, let's get it done and start heading home. We are back. Nerve wracking, but we are home. We are home. Well, these 255, 55s. Oh no, they're 19s. That's 19 inch. Oh, they're the same as the whites on the Porsche, actually. So what we got there? 275-45-19s. Tires are cracked. This car needs a lot of work. But we are back. We are back, guys. We are back. Cool. She did well. Uh, let's get this beast unloaded. Right people, I am driving the VW Turug that we have just purchased and uh, it seems like it drives all right. No lights on the dash, all the gears go up and down as it should. We are on our way to the MOT station and I am driving through the back roads and now I can just cruise because most of these roads are 60. So let's have a look what this thing can do. Right. Okay, straight and put down what 
Wow. Guys, he is a beast. He is an absolute monster. He pulls. That was sketchy. I don't know if you've seen the traction came on. Uh, literally, you can feel the front wheel spinning on that one. Um, anyways, I am getting to the MRT station. I will continue the video when we get there or I will make a separate video so this video is not too long um, actually I'll do that what I'll do is get to the MRT get the car tested if it fails it fails and then we can do everything wrong with the car as well as get a few things fixed so we can actually get past through the MRT and start using this as a daily but yeah not much miles to the gallon I'm driving pretty decent it is a diesel guys so I'm hoping you know it's not going to be horrendous very very nice drive though very smooth that engine is perfect it starts really well uh every day i've got this car it's the third day now um uh, since having this car i've started every day from cold and it seems to start up nice not much smoke as well when starting up uh it drives really really well as we've seen i've just taken a pretty much a 20 30 minute 30 minute drive you could say and uh, a few pulls and it drives really really well so uh, let's see what else this car needs so far so good engine seems okay wish me luck hopefully it passes MOT and I will see you in the next one don't forget to like subscribe and share bye bye